Hey guys, so today's video is going to be on my makeup collection and I do have quite a bit of makeup for my age or for someone my age but I do like collecting makeup and doing it as a hobby and of course my YouTube channel is based on makeup and just beauty and stuff so that's why I have a lot of makeup. Also, I kind of have a bad habit of spending a lot of money so I'm not trying to brag any way, shape, or form about all my makeup. I just like watching these types of videos, so hopefully you guys find entertainment in this as well. And if you don't like these types of videos, you can just exit now because there's really no point in watching. So let's just get started. So here are my brush containers. This one holds my eye brushes, this one holds my face brushes, and then this one up here holds just like random spoolies and stuff like that so these are my brushes and i mainly get my brushes from wet n wild real techniques or elf just because i like more affordable brushes and i don't want to spend like so much money on like high-end brushes so here are just a few of my brushes and yeah i also have some Real Technique sponges here, and if you're wondering, the pink ones with the white handles are from Wet n Wild, and then the ones with the black handles are from e.l.f., and then the purple ones or the orange ones over here are from Real Techniques, and this one's from Real Techniques as well. And here is my little miscellaneous type of jar. Just keep my lash curler, and then spoolies that I've taken from like Ulta or Sephora. And then I have like an eyebrow razor. Now on to the actual like fun makeup stuff. This is um, one of my drawers. This is mainly where I keep my lip makeup. So up here I just keep like some sponges and stuff like that. Also mini brushes that I don't really use. And then in this container I keep some samples that I've gotten. Actually there's like a lot in here. And I should probably get to using them. So in this first drawer, I just keep my lip tints. And I have a, a lot, but I'm not going to go super in-depth with these. Because I'm going to be filming a separate like lip tint collection. And usually I keep my favorite lip products up here. So I have the Peripera Airy Ink Velvet Tint. Then these... Color Live Tints, Misha Lasting Lip Painting Tint, and then this Chateau Labute Wine Tint. So this next drawer holds all of my lip glosses and lip balms, and these four I just got from like a Christmas gift, and then there's like a ton more under here. I have some NYX lip glosses, um, there's like a ton of baby lips in the back over here. Um, this is an Essence lip gloss. ColourPop Hello Kitty lip gloss. I really love this color. It's so pretty. It's in the color Super cute um, This Momond lip gloss, Marc Jacobs And yeah, just a lot of lip balms and lip glosses I have this Lip Savior balm from H&M that my friend gave to me and it's so good I really like it So this is the final drawer and this is where I keep all of my lipsticks whether it's like liquid lipsticks or just like um tube lipsticks stuff like that i just keep in here so i have like nyx color pop um tarte uh i have these two mac lipsticks which i really like i have a lot of wet and wild lipsticks back here and i really like wet and wild lipsticks because they're really good and they're also very affordable and then i have this innisfree lipstick and then just some miscellaneous lipsticks back here. So that is all for this pink drawer. And now on to the major drawer. So this drawer is kind of where it gets crazy because this is where I keep the majority of my makeup. And it may look like I have a lot. Well, I do have a lot, but it does look like I have more than what I actually have because the container is kind of small. Also, I don't keep my container on my desk. I keep it inside my closet, actually. So I just took it out for this video so you guys can see it a little better. This one on the top, I actually just took out from another container because the rest of the drawer didn't really have anything to do with makeup. So 
So starting in this container right here, I just have this Choslinga 22 um, Ray Beam Cream. And then inside this box here, I keep my foundation. So I have this Holika Holika BB Cream. Two of these um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. And I have two of them because, well, the first one that I bought didn't really match me. So I had to buy another color. And I have these L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundations. And this one I got when I was in the Philippines. So that's why the container is a bit different. Whoa! I really like this foundation though. It's really nice on the skin, but it's just kind of the wrong color right now. And then this one is a bit too dark for me. Then up here, I just have two Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. And I really like these concealers. Then I have this Etude House Face Blur Primer. Over here, I keep another foundation. And this is the LA Girl pro coverage foundation and i really like this because the coverage is pretty good and it's also very affordable under that i just have a whole bunch of concealers so i have maybelline um cover girl the sem la girl and then i have this color corrector from aditam this um play 101 stick from etude house and then up here i keep my three wet and wild correctors so back over here i just keep some potted concealers so i have this full cover concealer and then this color corrector and my cousin actually left this behind so um i kind of took it sorry <laughs> then i have this no pore Blum primer from touch and soul and i really love this primer and i just have the elf um poreless face primer and the maybelline baby skin so now onto these cushions. I have a ton of cushions back here, but um, I don't really wear them that often because they are quite light for my face. My favorite one has been the Etude House Precious Mineral Cushion though. And I think they changed the packaging for this. So this is like the OG type of Etude House packaging. Most of the cushions that I have, I bought mainly because of the packaging because they're so cute. I love them. And these two over here are actually blush and bronzer um, cushions, and they're so cute. They're from Opu, and they're in this um, limited Doraemon packaging. This next drawer is my powders and, like, any highlighters, bronzers, and stuff like that. So starting off with this compartment over here, I just have, like, some NYX cream blushes this mac blush which is actually so pretty it's like a bright red color i have this tarte blush sample and then these three Too faced um mini sample bronzers then i have these milani blushes the sun blush a dude house cookie blusher and then this color pop um highlighter so now onto the back here i have the can make no shadow powder hula benefit bronzer Too Faced Baby Love Blush, and it's so pretty. They have two of these Wet n Wild highlighters, and I really love this highlighter formula, and you guys should definitely check it out. Then finally, I have this Sleek palette, and it's so amazing. I love this palette so much. And right here, I have two e.l.f. blush um, palettes, and they're in light and dark. Next here is this e.l.f. highlighting palette, and this is kind of poop, not gonna lie. Um, I wouldn't recommend spending your money on it. Just buy the Wet n Wild highlighters. Also, the shades in here kind of suck unless you're like really pale or just really into that like chalky look. Yeah, and it's not even that glowy or like not even a good natural highlight. Over here, I have my powders. So I have the Sweet Cotton Sebum Clear Pack, the London Stay Matte Powder, and then the Skin Food Peach Powder. A makeup revolution highlighter and then like two elf palettes back there and then this wet and wild highlighting stick and then this super cute gudetama powder oh my god also right there there's a mac powder so i kind of changed the lighting because it was getting really dark outside so in here is like my eye products drawer so eyeliners mascaras eyebrow stuff so over here are just all of my mascaras and i just have a ton of them mainly from the drugstore because i really love drugstore mascaras the most so i have um maybelline 
Etude House. Um, this uh, Too Cool for School one is so good, and the wand is so cool because you can like adjust the length of it. L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is amazing. Benefit They're Real, Too Faced, better than... Back here are all of my eyeliners and eyebrow pencils and stuff. So I have like It's Skin, um, Stila, Rimmel, Aritam, NYX, Kat Von D, Marc Jacobs, um, Jordana, Maybelline, and just like a whole bunch of eyeliners. My favorite eyeliners are from Holika Holika, Marc Jacobs, Aritam, Kat Von D, and Stila. And I also really like this Jordana quick brow. Over here, I just keep eyeshadow palettes along with eyebrow kits. I have Skin Food Choco Eyebrow Powder Cake, Wolf Eyebrow Kit, um, this really nasty looking Naked Basics palette. So I'm not going to show you guys what that looks like, but it's so messed up and it's kind of embarrassing. Sweat and Wild palette is awesome as well. It's kind of like a dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. Um, I have this Lorac palette and this Gudetama eyeshadow palette, which is so cute. Oh my gosh. And the inside has like really nice shades as well. Over here, I have my ColourPop eyeshadow um, kind of like Z palette thing. And I just keep all of my pressed shadows in here. And then these two are like W7 palettes. And they're like dupes for the Naked three and two palette. Finally over here I just have my eyeshadow primers and pomades. So I have this Etude House primer, Essence, um, this random e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow, this Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer, um, and finally these two eyebrow pomades. This one's from Benefit and it's the Cabral eyeshadow pomade and then the NYX Tame and Frame. Okay, so this last drawer over here is my all-time favorite drawer because this is just all of my eyeshadows, whether it's eyeshadow singles or palettes. So right up here, I have my Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which is my most recent like palette purchase. All the colors in here are so gorgeous, and also it smells so good. And I have these three Too Faced Holiday Collection palettes, and then I also have these three Smashbox eyeshadow palettes, but my favorite has been this blue one. The shades in here are so pretty. And then I have my ColourPop Yes Please palette, which is like the best palette ever. The colors in here are so beautiful, and it's just one of my favorite palettes. Finally, I have these two lashes here. Here are my ColourPop shadows. So some of my favorite ColourPop shadows are Sequin and also um, DGAF. Then I have Aditam Mono Eyes eyeshadows and I really love these because the glitter shades are super pretty. Then I have the Face Shop eyeshadows and um, they're pretty good. Well, the matte ones are, but the glitter ones aren't that good. I don't know. There's not actually any glitter in it. It's just like kind of shimmery but it kind of like fades out and it's not pigmented and over here i have some sephora eyeshadows and i really love these and i got them when they were on sale and i really love this shade which is in the color penny i think or lucky penny i have a style y eyeshadow milani stila i have h and m um, maybelline urban decay finally over here i have some NYX shadows, and I really love the prismatic shadows. They're really pretty, and also if you're into that like metallic-y type of look, these are really good. My favorite shades have been Girl Power and also Golden Peach. Also, NYX has really good colorful eyeshadows, so if you're looking for any good orange or red shades, I recommend Bad Seed and um, LOL from NYX because they're super pigmented, and I really love wearing like red or oranges on my eyes and those two have been like my og shadow so that was all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like the video and also subscribe if you want also check out my instagram because i'm usually more active on there than on youtube so if you want to follow me um link down below again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye